I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razzman IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast with me, Lauren Price. Lauren, I know it's frustrating at the end with the, with the uh, sample that you had to give, but... Bit of a language barrier there, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a major language barrier. Uh, most importantly, got the win, got yeah. the performance, got the rounds. Yeah, uh, 100%. Obviously, she was a step up in opponent. Um, you know, she had a, she was fighting for the European title a couple of months back, which I thought was a close fight. Uh, she got a good record, but yeah, my third professional fight, and I hadn't boxed since October, so it was just good, you know, to get out. And this year is all about momentum. I want to be busy, and you know, that's that's the main thing for me. I know last year we spoke at every one of your fights, but last year you talk about how. Um, you've been waiting around to make your debut, you made your debut and then almost a bit of tiredness kicked in towards the, like, the, the latter part of the year. It took five months out, was that maybe a bit too long for your life? Yeah, well the thing was obviously I was meant to box in September, um, but obviously there were the Queen passing. I had a little niggle as well in my shoulder, Bursa, so obviously I had um, with a pushback. Obviously the five week pushback for the Shields and Marshall card made it a little bit worse, which meant I couldn't box in December. So. You know, that kind of buggered me up a little bit. I wanted to box, you know, the end of the year. But, you know, I took had a bit of rest, um, completely injury-free now. And, you know, like I said, the main thing this year is just I want momentum behind me, and that's when you'll see the best me, you know, when I'm out regular and, and busy. Ben Shalom said to me this week that this was a tough opponent. This was a step up, and maybe just a step up that could be just a little bit too far. He did obviously still trust you, but is that the plan now? Just keep stepping up and getting close to that world, that world title? Yeah, 100%. There's no point, you know, me getting in there with people who I'm just going to knock over. Um, you look at, obviously, my aunt, amateur pedigree. Uh, obviously, I'm, there's no point me, like I said, going in there with someone, you know, who's, who's not on that kind of level. But it's all about learning in this game. And for me, just a little, <laughs> little step ups each time. That's all I need. And like I said, I want to be busy. So go again in May. And yeah, just keep stepping up. Someone's whispering in my ear. Who's your hey. biggest supporter? Oh, Kai. <laughs> um, final question. I know you obviously, as an amateur, you've been around all over the world, but as a professional, first time in France, Paris, a little bit different? Yeah, um, you could say that for the least. Obviously, there were the weigh-in yesterday. That was a little bit interesting. But, you know, it's good to have that experience. I had it as an amateur. I boxed all around the world, so it was nothing new to me. But, you know, coming out here, um, it was good to experience. And, yeah, I'm glad, you know, to, to get this fight behind me, first one of the year, and look, to, you know, to keep improving. And that's all I want to keep doing. Cookies in the bedroom? Cookies are in the fridge at home. She's asked you a question. Cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're in the freezer waiting. Uh, Lauren, many congratulations. Yeah, I got another two weeks to wait yet. Oh, you gotta wait. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, Lauren, many congratulations again. I will speak to you soon. Lauren Prasad for TV. Thank you very much.